Hello family, good morning, and welcome to your week of miracles. God bless you. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week so far. It's just started. <laughs> Our God is so awesome. I hope everyone had a restful weekend. Uh, I am excited because I believe that this week is a week of a, a activation. Good morning, Donna. God bless you. Hey, Prophet Jason, God bless you. You're one of my first ones. <laughs> Good morning. God bless you. Praying over the service. Did you already have the service? I saw your post uh, yesterday. I think it's coming up. I'm definitely praying over that. Hey, Diane, good morning. God bless you. Hey, Susan, good morning. As you jump, aloha, Vicky. God bless you. Welcome. Yes, I can feel the excitement in the room. Good morning, Miss Teresa. God bless you. Hey, Peter. God bless you. Good morning. Welcome, 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 everybody. I'm excited about what God is going to do this week. I'm excited about what I'm seeing God do uh, in your lives. <laughs> the testimonies are just coming in and they're amazing. And, and God is continuing to bless. Uh, God is continuing to heal. Uh, God is continuing to restore families. And uh, I am excited and I am expectant uh, for what it is that God is doing. Hey, Jason Edward Knight. Good morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So as you jump on this morning, I want you to type out. Hey, Gypsy. I want you to type out as you jump on. Yes. Thank you, Dara De La Rosa, for sharing. God bless you. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Alohi looks like I hope I wish I could pronounce your name. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Hello from Johannesburg. Wow. So we have South Africa in the house this morning. Woo -hoo. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. Good morning, Pastor Michael. God bless you. Welcome, everybody. I can feel the excitement. Hallelujah. God is awesome. Good morning, Aneta. God bless you. Welcome. Uh, Teresa, God bless you. Welcome. If I didn't call your name, sorry. The names are coming quickly but i bless you all as you join jayla good morning good morning natasha hello god bless you. i'm taking a moment to greet everybody thank you for sharing maxine god bless you y'all know the drew i love y'all so much family morning good morning god bless you brooke gordon good morning welcome yes aloha from hawaii we have quite a few hawaiians watching hallelujah i just might come up there and vacation i hear it's so beautiful over there hallelujah jean good morning god bless you hallelujah gail good morning as you jump on this this morning, I want you to type out, this is my week of an explosion. No, I want you to type this out, all capital letters, okay? If you believe that this is your week, if you believe that you're not watching this by accident, if you believe that something is about to shift and change in your life, I want you to type out, <coughs> thank you, Susan, for sharing, God bless you. I want you to type out, this is my week of a speedy, sudden explosion of blessings, <laughs> Hey, Rana, thank you for sharing. Hey, Miss Trisha, good morning. God bless you. Type a good morning. God bless you. Yes, thank you, Maureen, for sharing. As you jump on this morning, I want you to, I want you to just jump in prophesying. <laughs> good morning, Prophet Jason. Jump in just prophesying over yourself. Hallelujah. Type out this all capital letters. Hallelujah. Thank you, Glenda, for sharing. God bless you. Uh, type out. Yes, good morning. Type out. This is my week. <laughs> Feel the power of God. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Hey, Ruth, I love you. Type out, this is my week of a, a speedy. <laughs> hey, Alexandra, I love you. Type out, this is my week of a speedy, sudden explosion <laughs> of blessings. Hallelujah. Type out again, this is my week of a speedy, sudden explosion of blessings hallelujah as you do i prophesy thank you diane for sharing god bless you i prophesy amos chapter 9 over you hallelujah amos chapter 9 says yes indeed <laughs> i'm just gonna start out prophesying over you <clears throat> it says yes indeed it won't be long now god's decree hallelujah things are going to happen so fast Yes, indeed, it won't be long now. Things are going to happen so fast. <clears throat> hey, Deep, God bless you. Yes, indeed, hallelujah. It won't be long now. Things are going to happen so fast. Everything will be happening at once. Hallelujah. And everywhere you look, blessings i declare over you even as we begin the broadcast before we begin to release the word this morning hey brad good morning i declare over you as we begin the broadcast that yes indeed it won't be long now everything is going things are going to happen so fast <clears throat> everything will be
will be happening at once. Hallelujah. And everywhere you look, blessings. Hallelujah. Somebody type that out if you believe it this morning. Hallelujah. Type it out. Everywhere I look, blessings. K. Rebebebe. Santre Baka. I hear this morning. Hello, Pastor Arita. God bless you. I hear the sound of the abundance of an, a blessings. Hallelujah. I hear the sound of an explosion in my spirit. So even before I jump into the word this morning, I want to prophesy over you that yes, indeed, <clears throat> It won't be long now. God's decree. Shaka. Things are going to happen so fast. Hallelujah. Everything will be happening at once. Glory to God. And everywhere you look, blessings. I declare Ezekiel 34 over you. I call for in Jesus mighty name. I prophesy over your life as you begin this week. Shaka. I prophesy a release of a rainstorm. Reke. A rainstorm of blessings. I prophesy a rainstorm of blessings. Now Agnes, why are you talking about the blessings? Are you a part of the Bless Me Club? Yes, I am. And I'll tell you why. i tell you, are you a part of the Too Blessed to Be Stressed Club? Yes, I am. And let me tell you what. The word of the Lord says that 2,000 years ago, one man named Jesus, he took your place. He took your sickness. He took your lack. He took your oppression and he nailed it to that cross. And what did he die to give you? He died to give you the blessing. Agnes, show me chapter and verse. The word of God says that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is every man that hangeth upon a tree. So Agnes, why are you always talking about bless me this, bless me that? Because 2,000 years ago, a man died the death of a thief. A man took my place. A man took your place. His name is Jesus. And when he died on the cross of Calvary, what did he die to do? The word of God says that Christ, he broke the curse. Oh, And so I declare, I hear the sound of abundance. I hear the sound of the abundance of blessing be released upon your life. Hallelujah. The blessing that destroys the curse. Some people have been in that season under unusual opposition. There's something they talk about in Africa. Hallelujah. We talk about it. We talk about it everywhere, but we really use this term uh, in Africa. I'm originally from Africa. Uh, we use this term failure at the edge of breakthrough. Failure at the edge of breakthrough. Some people are watching this morning and you feel like you came right to the edge of your breakthrough and you've hit unusual opposition but this morning the force and the power of the blessing is going to shatter the opposition it's going to shatter the mountain the, the power of the blessing is going to break in pieces gates of brass is going to cut in sunder bars of iron in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm about to get into my word but I want to just release this blessing over you because I hear the sound of the abundance of blessings being released. Hey, Esther from Kenya, God bless you. The blessing destroys the curse. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord says Christ has redeemed us from the curse becoming a curse. Hallelujah. For it is written, curse is every man that hang upon a tree. Thank you back for sharing that the blessing of Abraham might come upon us. And so as we jump on this morning, hallelujah, I want you to talk Type it out one more time. Hallelujah. This is my week. Type it out and declare it if you can. I'm stepping into my week of a speedy, shedding, explosion of blessings. Before I jump into my word briefly this morning, I want to prophesy Deuteronomy 28 over you. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28 says that it shall come to pass. Can I tell someone who has been believing God for a financial breakthrough that this week it shall come to pass. Can I tell somebody who has been believing God for their son and daughter or particularly this morning the son to be delivered from drug addiction that it shall come to pass this week. Can I tell somebody who is believing God for to start a business that it shall come to pass this week. Can I, can I prophesy over somebody who is believing God for their help that it shall come to pass this week. Hallelujah. 
I just saw a friend jump on o OB. It's been years. I don't know if you're still watching, but I, I don't know if you're trying to start a new business, but I see the Lord blessing your business. Hallelujah. Ha, re, be, 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 shout out. I see the Lord giving you finances, even for your business in Jesus' mighty name. And so at Prophet as we began the broadcast this morning. I prophesy, hey, Jerusha, I was just thinking about you last night. I love you so much. I prophesy, Deuteronomy 28 over you, that it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Somebody type it out. This week, it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This week you are about to be overtaken. You might have seen blessings come to you, but the Lord says this week blessings are going to overtake you. Hallelujah. I prophesy over your week in Jesus' mighty name that this week you are blessed in your fan your family and finances are blessed. I prophesy over you this week that that your mind is blessed in the name of Jesus as you step into the week. If you receive it this morning, type that I receive it. I prophesy as you step into the week. Hallelujah. That God shall cause your enemies that come up against you to be destroyed before you. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes there are curses. Sometimes there are forces that stand at the edge of your biggest breakthroughs. I already looked in my mail this morning. A 14-year prayer request. God is bringing it to pass. I looked in my mail this morning. I got a mail. A 14-year prayer request. I'm telling you, somebody is watching this morning and you feel like you come right to the verge of your promise and then there is a, there is a hindrance. There is an opposition. I prophesy over your week that God shall cause your enemies that rise up against you to be smitten before you in the name of Jesus. Does anybody receive it? Type out our capital letter. Amen. Hallelujah. I prophesy over your week that your storehouses shall be blessed. I prophesy over your week that your bank account shall be blessed. That your hands are filled with the blessing of the Lord. I prophesy to you this week that God shall give to you with the nations. The word of God says the Lord appeared to Solomon and told him, asked him, tell me what do you want? Ah, here in about one minute, we're going to begin to pray. We're going to begin to talk to God about what we want. We're going to begin to talk to God because this is what the Lord said. The Lord said, ask me for the nations. Ask me and I will give you the nations. Somebody is watching this morning and you are believing God for real estate property. I hear that. I see somebody. Who is that? Give me a head top emoji and say it's me. Somebody is believing God for breakthrough with a real estate property. And I hear the spirit of God say, as surely as the Lord lives, that which I stood as a mountain before you shall move this week in the name of Jesus. And so even as I begin this week, <clears throat> I prophesy over you that you are blessed in the city, that your family and finances are blessed in the name of Jesus. Can I see an agreement? Can I see an amen? Hallelujah. Can I, can I just shout it if you can't shout it wherever you are at. Shout it out. Hallelujah. Shout out amen. As you step into the week, I prophesy in the authority of Jesus name that God shall cause your enemies that rise up against you to be destroyed before you in the name of Jesus I prophesy yes when it is harvest time I prophesy that your storehouses are blessed I prophesy that God shall get you with nations as your inheritance with the whole earth as your personal possession scripture scripture it's in the salt. Hallelujah. I prophesy that your bank accounts are blessed. I prophesy that the whole earth how they best say. How many of you have been blessed now? You might have been blessed and maybe a hundred people heard your testimony and said, wow. But I wish we would really tap into this scripture in Deuteronomy 28. It says the whole earth how they best say okay. when Joseph had been in prison and was suddenly catapulted into the palace, the whole world of his day knew that Joseph had been blessed. Can I prophesy over somebody watching this morning? Preach, Brittany. I don't know who you are, but you just jumped on. And I hear the Spirit of God say that this is your season of mighty open doors. It's Isaiah 22, 22. I see you on your 
your knees on your face before the Lord crying out and saying, I see you in your prayer closet. This is for the lady that just jumped on. Prince Brittany, there's a prophetic anointing in the room. I, I heard the Lord say as you jumped on, Isaiah 22, 22, the Lord says, prove me now in the Hallelujah. See if I will not open up the windows of heaven. See if I will not open up mighty doors to you. Hallelujah. Preach Brittany. Hallelujah. I hope you're still watching. I heard the Lord saying that the last season has been tough. It's been dark and you've even felt sucked at the brick of giving up. But I hear the Spirit of God say that this week is going to be a week of momentum. This week is going to be a week of acceleration. This week is going to be a week of movement. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over everybody watching. Deuteronomy 28. God shall get you a nation. Hallelujah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine heaven? Hey, Jacks, God bless you. God shall get you a nation. Can you imagine? Hallelujah. The nations are your inheritance. Glory to God. Your bank accounts are blessed. Can you imagine the heavens being open to you? This week, I heard the Spirit of God say, Saturday while I was in prayer, I heard the Lord say, I will throw open for everybody watching the broadcast even right now hey amy love you i heard the spirit of god say i will throw open the windows of heaven i will pour you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to contain oh i hear the lord say make room make room make room because there is a level there is a level of the blessing that you have never received before there is a level of blessing hallelujah i remember hearing a story a story of a man uh, that that uh, he went to this uh, um, barbecue place. He went to this barbecue place, and this little kid kept saying, I want some barbecue. Get me some barbecue. And so the man got the kid this barbecue, but it was the, the barbecue was about this big. And he gave it to the kid, and the kid started crying. In other words, the kid was overwhelmed. Can I prophesy to somebody this week uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that God is about to overwhelm you with blessings exceedingly? He's about to overwhelm you. We bless things abundantly. We bless things above anything you can ask or think. The whole earth shall know when God blessed Joseph, when God brought Joseph out of the prison into the palace, the whole earth knew. He did not need to announce it. The whole earth knew that Joseph had been blessed. Can I prophesy to you this morning as you jump on this broadcast, as you step into the season, that the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and I let no sorrow with him is coming upon your life. It's coming upon your life. Somebody type it out. It's coming upon my life. It's coming upon my life. Hallelujah. I was talking about earlier on. Somebody might ask, Agnes, why are you always talking about the blessing? Are you a part of the Black Me Club? And I said, yes, I am. Are you Are you a part of the Naming and Claiming Club? Yes, I am. And here is why. 2,000 years ago, a man took my place. A man took your place on that cross. And he took the curse to the cross. Hallelujah. The, cur the curse is that we which has kept you bound is that we that strike to hinder your blessing 2,000 years ago a man named Jesus took the curse to the cross why that the blessing might be released upon your life so don't tell me to stop talking about the blessing I'm gonna talk about the blessing as long as I live because 2,000 years ago a man died the death of a slave that the blessing of God might come upon me that the blessing of God might come upon you that will show me chapter and verse Agnes the word of God says in Galatians, ha, the Christ has redeemed us from the curse, becoming a curse for us. Why? That the blessing of Abraham might come upon you. How many of y'all know that God is not afraid of rich? The blessing of the Lord came so heavy upon Abraham. The word of God says that and he became very rich. It says the man, it says his wealth continued to increase until he became very rich. Hallelujah. I prophesy as you begin your week. I haven't even gotten into my word. Hallelujah. I'm going to teach you for a few more minutes and then we're going to begin to take it. Hallelujah. We're going to begin to take it in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over you in Jesus' name that God shall open up his treasures unto you and bless all the work of your hands. Oh, I hear the sound of an explosion of blessing. Hallelujah. Somebody I believe in this morning, type it out. My hands are blessed. You shall be the head and not the tail. 
Hallelujah. I was listening to Nate Johnston this week and on the broadcast, he was talking about how the name Jacob meant one who holds the heel. Jacob was at the heel. Jacob was the tail. Hallelujah. But then one night, Jacob encountered God. The presence and power of God is already in this place. One night, Jacob encountered God and Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. Kendre bebebe sheke terebosa herebe sokom. God shall open up his good treasure unto you, the heavens. God shall, you shall lend unto many nations. Now I want to stop here for a second. I want you to know if you're on this broadcast this morning, <coughs> you are not here by accident. People, what there are people watching this broadcast that have watched me since 2016. I used to prophesy this over them and I'm about to prophesy it over you because your whole destiny is about to change. I used to prophesy it over them <clears throat> and it seemed so impossible at the time. I used to tell them the meaning of this scripture in Deuteronomy 28 where, hey Deidre, good morning, where it says you will lend unto nations. Now, let me explain that scripture to you. <clears throat> the last time I checked, it's been a while. The United States of America is in 18 trillion dollars in debt. So, really get this. When God says he will bless you so much that you will lend unto nations. How many of y'all know if you have a million dollars, you can't lend unto nations? You can't you can't help the United States. <laughs> so, one day the Lord gave me a revelation and I began to prophesy over my broad, uh, broadcast. 2016 I said, millionaires are going to come out of this broadcast. I said, because we have work to do. The crusades, the Rahabanki crusades that you see taking place in Africa and all those places, they cost hundreds of thousands. So we have the harvest to bring in. But to bring in the harvest, we have to have the finances. If we're broke, we can love God. But we may not be able to reach out to the capacity that God wants us to because we don't have the finances. So I want to prophesy this again. 2016, I prophesied this over this broadcast. That word has come to pass. As a family, we have seen, are you ready for this? Over $2.5 million in financial testimonies within the last year. $2.5 million. I prophesied it in 2016. This is all to the glory of God. Now, if you don't need a financial breakthrough, you don't have to listen to this. If you don't need a breakthrough in your healing, uh, healing in your body, if you don't need a miracle, you don't have to take this. But I, I caught the revelation of this scripture. The Lord said unto me, Agnes, what does it mean to lend unto nations? That God says, I want to bless you so much that you by yourself. They said Bill Gates is so blessed. Well, he's not a Christian. He, that's why, you know, wealth transfer. But we, we bless him as well. We pray he encounters God. I hear, I hear he's a giver. They said if Bill Gates was a nation, he would be the 15th richest nation in the world. A man is so wealthy, he can, he can actually come, he has the same capacity of wealth as a lot of nations. So this morning, now, if you don't want this, you don't have to take it. But I believe that there's somebody watching the broadcast this morning, that God is going to give you a business idea that is going to unlock a million dollars to you. I prophesied that in 2016. <clears throat> I prophesied over this broadcast that people watching... That, that, that they were going to lend on tenacious, that they were going to be millionaires coming out of this broadcast, that they were going to be billionaires coming out of the broadcast, that they were going to be trillionaires coming out of the broadcast. A few weeks ago, one of our media family members testified, God blessed her husband's company with $1.6 million. How many of y'all know if you suddenly had $1.6 million in your account, you can, I can feed my country. Amen. <laughs> How many Nigerians are watching? They're wealthy Nigerians, but they have seen poverty. Hallelujah. And so I want to bless you with this this morning. Somebody testified $1.6 million testimony a few weeks ago. Somebody had testified about a month ago, $600,000 testimony. They just got a grant, $600,000. Their husband's organization, somebody else. Somebody had testified last week. Somebody just gave them. $10,000. Now, as I'm sharing these testimonies, I want you to type out, this happens to me all the time. I always tell people, take it. As I'm sharing these testimonies, I want you to type out, Agnes, this happens to me 
all the time. People gift me <laughs> with millions of dollars <laughs> all the time. Hallelujah. Somebody else testified. $15,000 testimony. Yes, God bless Nigeria. Somebody else got a new car. Hallelujah. Somebody else testified. This is on the broadcast within the last couple of months. Somebody else testified a $15,000 testimony. Somebody else testified a $5,000 testimony. Glory to God. Somebody else testified some time ago a $3,000 testimony. Now, if you don't need a financial blessing, you don't have to receive see this. This is not, I'm not forcing you this morning. <laughs> I'm really kind of kidding. But if you need a breakthrough this morning, I want you to type it out. Hallelujah. So I pray this over you again, because I believe that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. I prophesy over you in Jesus say that you shall lend unto many nations and you shall borrow from none in the name of Jesus. Now, this is not my word. That was just my blessing. I want to preach a word to you for about five minutes. But before I do that this morning, <coughs> hallelujah. I want you, this is already blessing you. I want you to do me a favor. Let's all do it right now. Let's invade social media. I always tell people, one of the ways you receive your explosion of blessings is by releasing the blessing to somebody else. And a very easy way to do that this morning is to the left of your screen, there is a share button. To the left of your screen, there's a share button. I want you to click on the share button and I want you to share the broadcast. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. I'm about to prophesy restoration over you. I have a word in my spirit the Lord has given me to release. I want to release that to you this morning. But I want you to go ahead and share the broadcast. Hallelujah. The word of God says, he that waters will also be watered himself. The word of God says, what you sow you reap. So can you partner with me this morning and sow this broadcast? That's all I'm asking for. I don't ask for anything else. All I'm asking for this morning is every single person watching right now can just to the left of your screen, click on the share button. And then after you share this broadcast, I want you to type out all caps, hashtag shared. I want you to share the broadcast and type out, I have a word in my spirit this morning. I want to release to you for about five minutes and then we're going to begin to pray and take our miracles. But before we do that, can you partner with heaven this morning? Hallelujah. And thank you, Mark Keith, for sharing. God bless you. Hallelujah. God, God gave Job double when he prayed for his friends. You might be saying, Agnes, I'm too into the broadcast. I don't want to be interrupted. Thank you, Karen, for sharing. But when you share it, hallelujah, God will give you back double. So thank you, Elaine, for sharing. Thank you, thank you, Dana, Dana, for sharing. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's get the room filled up. Glory to God. If all 104 of us watching this morning, there are two billion people watching on Facebook. Yes, Aneta is doing a watch party. Go ahead and do a watch party if you want to. Share it to the pages that you are a part of. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is already coming to the room. Hallelujah. The Spirit of Breakthrough is already coming to the room. Stella, thanks for sharing. Alexandra, thanks for sharing. Susan, thank you for sharing. God bless you. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to release a work to you here shortly. Terrence, thank you for sharing. God bless you. Thank you, Catherine. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you for sharing. Glory to God. Show. Thank you, Mark Keith. Everybody watching right now, we're about to jump into the word. I have a word in my spirit. Thank you, Kathy, for sharing. If everybody watching can just click to the left of your screen and share the broadcast. Hallelujah. After we do that, let's welcome Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jason, for sharing. I know he's already here. I know he's already here, but let's welcome the breaker. As we go into the week, I'm hearing the word of God in Malachi saying that the breaker shall go before you. So after you share the broadcast, okay, after you share the broadcast, I want you to begin to welcome the spirit of God. Hallelujah. And then I want to release a word to you. Holy Spirit, I cannot do this without you. God, you are so welcome in this place. I need you, Father. I ask you, God, to come and flood this place. I thank you, Lord God. His presence is here. After you share the broadcast and type out hashtag shared, I want you to type out all capital letters, Holy Spirit, welcome. Let's just welcome his glory into this place. Holy Spirit, I cannot do this without you. You are the miracle worker. You are the way maker. You are the promise keeper. We now have 773 testimonies. We have been counting since August of last year. It's been almost a year. We have now counted 773 testimonies. God, we thank you. 
God, we thank you. We ask you, Lord God, to do it again this morning. Holy Spirit, I love you so much. You are my best friend. You're my everything, God. I ask you, God, to come on this broadcast this morning and let bodies be healed. I believe some, Eva, I don't know if you feel the presence of God going through your body, but I believe the Lord is healing you even right now. Minds are being healed. People have been tormented in the mind. If you have been tormented in the mind this morning, I want you to lift up your hands because the presence of God is going to touch you right now. Holy Spirit, you are so welcome in this place. Have your way on this broadcast in Jesus' name. Amen. So make sure you share the broadcast. Hallelujah. And then I want you to type out this morning. Hallelujah. Type out. This is my day. Or I am stepping into my day <laughs> of speedy, of a speedy setting, explosion <coughs> of blessings. Type it out. I'm stepping into my day of a speedy setting, explosion. <coughs> of blessings hallelujah i heard the spirit of god say and i want to prophesy over you for about five minutes and then we're going to begin to pray i heard the spirit of god say that this is your month of payback this is your moment this is your morning of payback there's somebody watching the broadcast <coughs> that has cried many tears because you went through a season. You went through a season. I'm going to pray for you at the end. That person that was believing up for healing. There's somebody watching this morning. You have been walking through a season where you have felt robbed. Now, that word may not be for any everybody. But if there's anybody watching this morning who has felt like the enemy stole from you. I want you to give me a heads up emoji. I sensed in my spirit this morning, <coughs> excuse me, when I was getting ready for the message, that somebody was watching this morning, was going to watch the broadcast, that felt that has been going through a season of discouragement because you felt like the enemy had robbed you. <coughs> excuse me. First Psalm Ezekiel 22 verse 8 says, And when the thief is found, he has to pay back sevenfold. When the thief is found, he has to pay back sevenfold. Hallelujah. I hear the Spirit of God say this morning that the enemy that has robbed you of your breakthrough has been found. And this week, this moment, here within the next few minutes, he has to pay back sevenfold. I'm going to go really quickly. I'm going to teach you for about five minutes. Can you stay with me for about, I'm going to preach you for about five minutes. Then we're going to begin to pray. But I want you to understand. I want us to launch out from here. If you just joined us, welcome. Go ahead and share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Let's get the room filled up. Glory to God. <clears throat> 1 Samuel 30 verse 8 says David and his men reached Ziklag on the third day. It said the Amalekites had raided Ziklag. The Amalekites, they took their children, they attacked their families, they attacked their spouses. Somebody watching this morning has been under a threefold attack. Your finances have been attacked. Your family has been attacked. Your health has been attacked. It says David and his men came to Ziklag on the third day. The Amalekites had raided Ziklag and burned it. Now, is there anybody? Am I, am I on the right? Am I speaking to the right people this morning? Is there anybody watching this morning? That felt like you have been through the fire. Everything that David had went through the fire. The Amalekites raided Ziklag on the third day. David and his men came, found out that their children were gone. I don't know if there's somebody watching. Thank you, Jacqueline, for sharing. I don't know if there's somebody watching this morning believing God for their children right now. If you are believing God for your children to come home. 
I want you to type out. I'm believing God for my children because I want to speak a blessing over you. The Amalekites had raided, raided also Ziklag and burned it. They attacked their family. They attacked their finances. It says, but David found strength in the Lord. <clears throat> David asked the Lord. David inquired of the Lord. This morning, can I announce to you that within the next five minutes, your whole life is about to change. The moment has come for the manifestation of your miracle. I don't know how long you've waited for it. David, the man spoke a stone in him. So not only did the enemy attack some families watching this morning, but the enemy even tried to turn y'all against one another. The enemy tried to release slander against you. The enemy tried to release work curses against you. But hallelujah, the word of God says, no weapon formed against you shall have any power to prosper. I prophesy over those right now believing God for their children and their loved ones to come home. I declare that God will contend with those that contend with you. And God will say your children in the name of Jesus. It says David inquired of the Lord. He had about three minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to begin to inquire of the Lord. Now, if you just jumped on, God bless you. I always say that he that he that waters will also be watered himself. So go ahead and to the left of your screen, click on the share button if you have not shared it. And show this broadcast into somebody's life. You might be saying, I just have one or two people on my page. For one person, it might be the difference between life and death. So if you can share the broadcast this morning, after you share it, type out hashtag shared. We're about to begin to inquire of the Lord in about two minutes. Hallelujah. Yekerebe en solo bokua kates kanamande. Dubreke tigria dokos kalabanda. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. If you cannot pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in English. But however it is that you can cry out to God. I want you to begin to call out to God. Hallelujah. For the manifestation of your miracle. It said David came. The city was burned. <coughs> yes. Type it out. My whole life is about to change. After you share the broadcast, type it out. My whole life is about to change. David came to the city. David and his men. The city was burned. Hallelujah. It says, but David found strength in the Lord. David inquired of the Lord. David asked God, shall I pursue? Should I, shall, he said, should I pursue? Shall I overtake? And the Lord said to, the Lord said, yes, Eva, we bless your son in Jesus' name. David said to the Lord, now, here is the trick, family. Some of you are here in my spirit. I've been feeling that all weekend. So who is that watching that just an overwhelming heaviness? You just felt so discouraged. I want to make sure I'm speaking to the right audience this morning. Give me a hands up emoji if you have just felt just a wave of discouragement. But David, I want to just make sure I'm speaking to the right crowd this morning. Is there anybody watching this morning that has felt just a wave of discouragement? David came to the city. Everything he knew was gone. David was deeply discouraged. David, this is what he did. And go ahead and share the broadcast. If you just jumped on, God bless you. Hallelujah. David inquired of the Lord. He said, shall I, should I pursue? Shall I overtake? And the Lord said to David, pursue. And the Lord is saying to somebody this morning, we're about to inquire of the Lord. The Lord said to David, pursue. For thou shall surely overtake them and without fail recover all pursue i prophesy i 
speak. I release a divine instruction over someone this morning that the enemy had stolen from you, that the enemy had attacked your health, that the enemy had attacked your finances, that the enemy had attacked your family, that the enemy had attacked your mind. I hear the Spirit of God say this morning, pursue and overtake for you shall surely without fail recover all. Hallelujah. Now, I heard the Spirit of God say that this moment, I don't know what you jumped on the broadcast this morning believing God for. I don't know what it is that you are hoping from the Lord. But I heard the Spirit of God say that this is your moment of a divine visitation. This is your moment, <coughs> excuse me, where everything changes. Genesis 28 verse 16. God visited Jacob, but he did not recognize it. And it was 20 years later before Jacob recognized it. Let me show you the scripture really quickly. And we're going to begin to take it. We're going to begin to pray this morning. Genesis 28 verse 16 says, Jacob woke up and he said, he went to sleep. He saw angels ascending and descending. He woke up and he said, Surely God was here. Isn't that sad? It said God was here and I did not know it. Jacob, to the best of my knowledge, did not have another encounter again for 20 years. Family, within the next five minutes, your whole life is about to change. 773 testimonies that we have counted. Over $2.5 million in financial testimonies. Hundreds of people have been healed from the broadcast within the last year. Hallelujah. Within the next few minutes, your whole life is about to change. If you can be undistracted right now in this moment. Now, I'm not, I'm not the one who does the miracles. God does the miracles. But you know who, who cries out for them? You do. Right now, if you just jumped on the broadcast, God bless you. Hallelujah. Before we begin to pray this morning, the word of God says that he that waters will also be watered himself. So I want you to, to partner with heaven this morning and show this broadcast into somebody's life. Partner with heaven to release your blessing. Partner with heaven to release your breakthrough. Hallelujah. And I want you to click on the left of your screen and I want you to share the broadcast. Hallelujah. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. We're about to begin to pray. This is the moment, family, where we've seen cancer heal. This is the moment where we've seen a young boy, his ears were deaf. His grandmother was praying on the broadcast, and this is the moment where his deaf ears popped open. This is the moment where we've seen people have millions of dollars in financial testimonies. Glory to God. I heard the Lord say this morning that there's somebody watching. <clears throat> you went through a season where you felt like the enemy stole from you. But just like David when he came to Ziklag, David inquired of the Lord. David asked the Lord, should I pursue? Shall I overtake? And the Lord said to David, pursue, for you shall surely overtake and without fail recover all. There's somebody watching. You have been in a 20 year cycle. Who is that? Give me a hands up emoji. Let me not talk into the right group. There's somebody watching. You have been in a three year cycle. Somebody watching. You have been in a five year cycle. Somebody watching right now. You are having severe sinus infection. It just left you. It just left you. The power and presence of God is here right now. If you get healed in your body while you're watching, uh, because people usually get healed before we pray. If you every broadcast, we've seen people get healed to the glory of God. If you get healed on the broadcast right now, I want you to try to do something you could not do. And if you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters, I am healed. But family, we are going to begin to call out to God. It said, David inquired of the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. Genesis chapter 10, God bless you. Genesis 28, 16 says, Jacob had a divine visitation and he missed it. I want somebody to type out this morning, I will not miss my divine moment of visitation. 
I want you to type it out this morning. I want you to begin to pray to get something you've never gotten. You have to do something you've never done. This morning, I know people are going to work. People are at work. People are getting the kids ready for school. But this morning, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, if you can lift up your voice and begin to call out to God like there's nobody else on the broadcast. I want you to begin to call out to the Almighty God. Genesis 28 verse 16 says, Joseph said, Jacob said, surely the presence of God was here and I didn't know it. He missed it. He missed it. Had about so. But thank God for second chances. A lot of prophet Oyinda, God bless you. Genesis 32, 22. <coughs> A prophet Oyinda, I just hear the word new beginnings. Prophet Oyinda, I hear the word new beginnings. I heard the Lord say, watch and see. receive it as well as you jump on go ahead and share we're going to begin to pray it said the first time jacob i want you to listen carefully because i'm about to give you instructions if you can be undistracted right now this is the moment this is the moment for your miracle we have counted to the glory of god 773 miracles now within the next within the last year this is the moment where your whole destiny your whole life is about to turn around for the better hallelujah genesis 32 22 jacob was left alone so jacob i want you to hear me family i want to give you a principle for about one minute then we're going to begin to pray jacob had been jacob 20 years before god came to him and he he woke up he said god was here i did not know it 20 years later it says jacob was left alone and the man wrestled when god came again jacob said to god jacob said to the angel i will not let you go until you bless me he knew the last time he missed it there's somebody watching this but you're not gonna miss it because within the next two minutes you're gonna begin to cry out to god like you never have before for an explosion of miracles for an explosion i released that word about an explosion of blessings i, I checked my mailbox something that i've been crying out for to god for for 14 years came to pass i received the mail so i want you to understand that i'm not just saying this because it sounds cute or because it's cliche but i'm prophesying to you sukri zane keria boskoa tarande i'm prophesying to you that within the next five minutes your whole destiny is about to change Jacob, the first time, like I said, for those of us that just jumped on, God bless you. We're going to begin to pray here in about two minutes. Jacob, the first time the Lord came to him, he missed it. He woke up and he said, surely the presence of God is here. And I did not know it. But the next time he said, no, it cost me 20 years. He went, he went around him. He suffered for 20 years. But the next time the Lord came to him, he said, I will not let you go until you bless me and the lord said to him what is your name i was listening to nick johnston this week and he was talking about the name jacob meaning one who holds the hill but but jacob was about to be transformed from being the hill to being the head can i prophesy over somebody watching this morning god is saying to you that the explosion of the power of the blessing that is about to be released upon your life shall cause you to become the head and not the tail shall cause you to become above only and not beneath jacob's name was about to change there's somebody watching the broadcast this morning your whole name is about to change about three people just got healed i want you to check your body god is healing people right now if you are 80 percent or more better i want you to type out all capital letters i am healed god is healing somebody of a throat issue somebody of a sinus issue somebody has chest pain somebody has an earache god is healing you 
right now. I'm seeing issues around the lungs, breathing, bronchial issues. God is healing you right now. Now we're going to begin to pray. We're about to take it by force. The word of God says since the beginning of time until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Hallelujah. We're about to take it. Hallelujah. Who's ready this morning? Tap out. I'm ready. Now, before we do this this morning, I want you to do me a favor. If you have not shared the broadcast yet, we're about to, this next two minutes are so pivotal to our destinies. Hallelujah. Because God is about to move my day in our midst. I hear the sound of the abundance of blessing. Now, Agnes, why do you talk about blessing all the time? Here's why. Hallelujah. Some people are watching this morning and their curses. Da -da 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 -da. I've hindered the manifestation of your miracles. But this is what the blessing does. The Lord gave me a revelation of the blessing. Agnes, are you do you talk about too blessed to be stressed? Hallelujah. You the the you know name it and claim it group. Yes, here is why. Two thousand years ago, a man named Jesus he died on that cross. He crushed the curse that was against my life, that was against your life. Galatians says he redeemed us from the curse. And what did he give us instead? That the blessing of Abraham might come upon us. So right now I'm about to release a prophetic blessing. That that is going to crush every curse. That is going to break every delay. That is going to usher you. That is going to alter your destiny. That is going to usher you into the beginnings of the best days of your life. Before we do that this morning, I'm not going to keep you too much longer. Is anybody healed yet? I feel like about three people just got healed. If you are healed, type out. When you testify, build faith in the room. Make sure you're checking. Make sure you don't leave the broadcast sick. I believe about five people just got healed. I feel the healing presence of God so strong on me right now like a wind. There's healing taking place right now. So if you are already 80% or more better, I want you to type out capital letters, I am healed. But I want you to do me a favor as we begin to pray this morning. I want you to go ahead and share the broadcast. Hallelujah. He that waters will also be watered himself. Hallelujah. So I want you to go ahead and click onto the left of your screen and let's let everybody know that we're here. You might be saying, I just have three people on my page. For one person, it might be the difference between life and death. Hallelujah. So can you partner with me this morning and do that if you have not done it? Go ahead and share the broadcast and after you do, type out hashtag shared. Hallelujah. Hashtag shared. And so I'm going to begin to pray right now. Now, I I want you to type out everything you are believing God for. First of all, if God already healed you, if you are 80% or more better, make sure you test it out. If you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out capital letters, I am healed. Hallelujah. But then I want you to type out what it is you are believing God for. And I want to begin to pray over you. So thank you, beloved, for sharing. After you share, type out hashtag shared. I'm going to pray over you for about three minutes. And then we'll thank you, Heidi, for sharing. God bless you. And we're about to see miracle a miracle explosion. Thank you, Kathy, for sharing. After you share the broadcast, I want you to type out what it is you are believing God for. Just type it out right now. We now have, thank you, Eva, for sharing. We now have recorded to the glory of God. Thank you. Tell me what you want prayer for. And I'm about to begin to pray over you. I believe that possibilities are going to become possible this morning. We have seen cancer healed. Somebody was watching the broadcast earlier on. And they have been believing God for a baby for many years, for a number of years. And one day they were watching the broadcast and we gave a word of knowledge that God was going to bless somebody with a baby. And uh, shortly after their pastor prayed over them. Anyway, they went back to their doctor a couple of months later and they were pregnant. And they now have their baby. I don't know if they're still watching Jer Jerusha. Uh, she now has her son, her baby boy. His name is Aaron. And we we have about six fertility testimonies of people who are believing God. Some of them, the doctor said they will never have children. There was a lady who actually had a dream about her. And I want you to keep typing out your uh, typing out your prayer. I'm sharing a couple of testimonies just to build your faith. Because the word of God says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Now after you type out your test, you after you type out your prayer request, after you pray for yourself, I want you to pray for somebody else. So, so say, God, I thank you for financial blessings for Kathleen. Say, God, I thank you for Kathy for a new house. So after you type out your prayer request, I want you to take somebody's prayer request and I want you to pray over them. 
The word of God says Job got double. Hey, Jerusha, love you, sister. Jerusha is the one that the Lord blessed her with a baby. She's a part of our media family. We prayed for her. Her pastor prayed for her. After believing God for a number of years, she got pregnant. Hallelujah. God is awesome. So I want you to, I want, I want to see people praying for others because it's a key to double. The word of God says God gave Job double when he prayed for his friends. Hallelujah. So after you pray over yourself this morning, I want you to pray for others. That's the key. Holy Spirit. We thank you. The atmosphere just shifted. Holy Spirit, you are so welcome here. I thank you, Lord God. I release the blessing of the Lord. Somebody else that we prayed for a while back. I actually had a dream about her. I had never met her. I had a dream about her. I had a dream about her being abused. Um sexually i hope that's not too detailed on a broadcast i woke up and two weeks two weeks later i met her i met her and i saw her face and uh, she told me she couldn't have children and we prayed over her and she now has her baby hallelujah the doctor was going to do a hysterectomy um and, and she now has her baby and so whatever it is you're believing god for if you're believing for a financial breakthrough we've seen over 2.5 million dollars in financial breakthroughs so i want you to begin to pray over one another and then i want to pray over you father i thank you right now for everybody watching in jesus name i just declare god that the power the blessing of the lord i declare in jesus saying that they are blessed in the city I declare that they are blessed as they step out. They are blessed as they step out into the beginning of the week. They are blessed. I declare that their families are blessed. I declare that their children are blessed. I declare that their homes are blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare, Lord God, that every curse that has tried to come against their lives are broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I want to give you a little bit of word of knowledge. Y'all keep praying over one another. <clears throat> keep praying over one another. Hallelujah. I'm not going to keep you for about three more minutes, but I want to give some word of knowledge. The word of knowledge is basically Jesus calling your name. I'm hearing the name of Rachel. I don't know if it's... Uh, did I give that name last week? It seems like I is Amy, is that your sister? I keep hearing that name, Rachel. And I will be so, I'm uh, so hilarious. Because I keep hearing the name Rachel. And if that's Amy, so I don't know if Amy's still watching. But this Rachel is actually relating to uh, uh, an illness. Rachel has an illness. I'm hearing the name Rachel for somebody whose loved one, who whose loved one's name is Rachel, but they have an illness. Uh, they've both been diagnosed with an illness. Hallelujah. Linda, God bless you. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. Keep praying over one another. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to give some word of knowledge. A word of knowledge is basically just Jesus calling your name. I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer. I'm going to keep you for about three more minutes. Hallelujah. A word of knowledge is basically just Jesus calling your name and just releasing the blessing over you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amy is everything. I don't know if it's your sis this time because this Rachel I'm hearing has an illness that they're believing God for healing. I don't know if it's like an issue in the abdomen, uh, like an IBM or something going on uh, there in the stomach or it might be their womb, but I'm just seeing around their lower abdomen abdomen area hallelujah i want to give some word of knowledge really quickly and i'm going to speak a blessing over you y'all keep praying over one another hallelujah keep praying the spirit of god is here hallelujah and so i want to get some word of knowledge i saw somebody in a crutches is there anybody watching this morning who who is in crutches or your loved one is in crutches because i saw the power of god touching a leg this morning somebody has their right leg their right ankle i don't know if they broke their ankle it was swollen right now the presence of god it's touching you i saw somebody with a curvature in the spine uh if, if any of that applies to you i want you to type out it's me and i receive my healing curvature of the spine if you have any type of chronic pain every broadcast just about for the last year or so we've seen chronic pain healed we pray blessings over kieran in jesus name if you have um any type of chronic pain Oh, wow. Amy. Okay. So I just release blessings over your sister and healing in Jesus name. And I declare blessings over you because I keep hearing that name, Rachel. And then I'll forget it's your sister. And I'll be like, oh, it's Amy's sister. Hallelujah. So right now, family, this is the moment of healing. This is the moment where we've seen tumors shrivel up. This is the moment where we've seen deaf ears pop open. Hallelujah. This is the moment where we've seen vision begin to come to blind eyes. And so right now, family, I want you to try to do something you could not do. And if you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters, I am healed. Hallelujah. I saw, I heard uh, the word sciatica. Somebody with an issue with a sciatica getting healed. I had a vision of the heart. 
uh, getting healed, heart trouble. Um, uh, Amy, has your sister ever had any issues with heart trouble or anything like that? Hallelujah. I heard the word kidney stones uh, are getting here. Y'all keep praying. Hallelujah. Oh, Ruth, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm going to keep you up for about one more minute. Try to do something you could not do. And if you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters, I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. We lose the healing power of God right now. Thank you. Usually people get healed before we pray. And so if you are 80% or more better right now, try to do something you could not do now. If you're sitting down, you're in disobedience. <laughs> if you're sick in your body and you're sitting down right now, unless you can't stand. But stand up and go ahead and try to do something you could not do. Okay? Move your body. Try to pop your back if you can, if it wouldn't hurt. And if you are 80% or more better, type out all capital letters, I am healed. Hallelujah. The reason why we say 80% or more is because healing is a progressive work. And so somebody that had sinus issues jumping on the broadcast, I just felt like your sinuses are clearing. Hallelujah. Somebody that had a chest pain, you feel a release and a relief. Okay, wow. Amy, that's so awesome because I was hearing Rachel, heart palpitations and heart issues. I look to the healing power of God over your, your sister, Rachel, in Jesus' name. Now, try to do something you could not do, family. And if you are 80% or more better, type out all capital letters, I am healed. Usually people get healed before I pray, so you know that it's not it's not me. Um, thank you, Jennifer. It's not me that I'm the healer. Hallelujah. Try to do something you could not do. I feel like somebody, the pain on your back, you feel it release like it's leaving you. Hallelujah. If you are 80% or more better, type out all capital letters, I am healed. Every broadcast in the last year or so, we've never had a broadcast that we didn't have people healed. And so I believe that about five people just got healed. Hallelujah. I just lose the presence of God over you right now, Rachel. Try to do some, does anybody feel different? Does anybody feel better? Has God healed anybody? Is anybody 80% or more better? Leon just got healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to release right now a healing prayer really quickly. Father, I just thank you. Two people just got healed. Thank you, Lord. I look to the healing prayer, uh, power of God. Feel free to uh, testify and let us know what God healed you from. Chest pain gone. Thank you, Lord. I just lose the healing power of God over you right now. Command three people just got healed. Thank you, Lord. We command infirmity to go in the name of Jesus. We stand upon the word of God by the stripes of Jesus Christ. You were healed and we declare healing. Four people just got healed. Thank you, God. We declare healing in the name of Jesus. I believe somebody has severe sore throat, migraines. Right now is leaving. I command you to go. We stand upon the word of God by the stripes of Jesus that, you, that, that, that these people are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I think we have four people just got healed so far. We give you all the glory, God. Test it out one more time, family. And if you have not testified yet and you are about 80% or more better, Rachel, you shall live and not die in Jesus' name. Now, the mental health counselor in me is going to say, call 911 or your crisis hotline. Don't kill yourself, okay? Call 911 or your crisis hotline. Hallelujah. Take care of Bobo Shandre Bakaya. If anybody else just got healed, I want you to tap out of capital letters. I am healed. We have four healings so far. We give God all the praise, all the glory. Make sure you don't leave the broadcast until you test. Testify or send me a message testifying. Hallelujah. The word of God says the leper came back to say thank you and he received a creative miracle. Yes, yes, yes. We bless Rachel in Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you for all the miracles. Can we just give God thanks? We have four people healed so far. We have so many more financial miracles. Family, message me as financial miracles come. If you don't follow my Facebook, Page, my personal page where you're watching right now after the broadcast just click on follow i've already reached the 5,000 friend limit but you can follow my page i do daily devotionals on my page breakthrough devotionals sweet so just got six healing so far thank you god thank you god <clears throat> Follow my page, hallelujah. Click on follow so you can get the notifications. Hallelujah. Seven, seven healings so far. Thank you, God. Click on notifications so you can follow. And then on YouTube, family, if you want to do a, just a day where you watch a number of broadcasts, all our broadcasts are now on YouTube. Just type out Agnes e. Betty or type out your week of miracles on YouTube and I'll pull up and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hallelujah. We give God thanks. I bless y'all in Jesus' name. I declare in the name of Jesus and a speedy sudden explosion of blessings coming upon your life in jesus name god bless you family have a wonderful week and remember this is your week of miracles amen god bless you bye bye